Hi all. Today I am going to show you tasty crispy samosas stuffed with peas and quinoa. Here I have taken 3 bowls of maida, half a tablespoon of salt and some warm oil. You have to knead all this together to form a dough. The dough shouldn't be very smooth. It should be a little bit hard. Now the dough is ready. You have to apply some oil on it and keep it aside for some time. Here are the ingredients required to make the stuffing for the samosas. This is kima, around 1 fourth kg. This is crushed peas and coriander leaves. These are chili grinded around 10 to 12 chilies this is onion one big full onion chopped and this is ginger garlic coriander paste around two tablespoons and we we'll need salt to taste some haldi powder and garam masala so next i'll show you how to make the batter here i've got a pan i'm going to add two tablespoons of oil Let it heat a little. Put in the grinded chilies. After this is fried for some time, we can add ginger garlic paste to it. Let it fry for some time. Add the onions, chopped onions. And now the onions are cooked. I am going to put in the haldi powder. And salt. Now I'm going to put the kima. It's going to take some time for this to cook. You can make this stay for some time. Stay around 5 minutes and let it cook. I have cooked the quinoa for nearly 5 to 6 minutes. And now I am going to add this crushed peanuts to it. Now this needs to cook for another 4 to 5 minutes. Now the peas are also cooked. Now lastly I am going to put this garam masala and chopped coriander leaves. And now we can put off the gas. Yes. Your batter is ready. Now take the dough that you have already prepared. Make small balls. I have dusted it with some maida. And with a rolling pin. You have to make very thin chapatis.
Now I've rolled out a few of them and I'm going to roast them on a tawa just for a second on both sides. This is to avoid them from becoming very oily. Once you have roasted them slightly, it's very important that you keep them moist in a cloth like this. Now for the stuffing. Take the chapatis and cut them into two. Your stuffing should have been cooled by now. You can make two samosas out of one rolled chapati. I made a paste of warm water and maida. This will help you to stick the samosa ends. In this way, you have to prepare and make ready all the samosas. See that all the corners are locked. Now that the stuffing is done, I am going to deep fry them. In the kadhi, I have taken some oil. Fry ultimately on both the sides till they are golden brown on medium flame. Remove them from oil once they are done. Drain all the excess oil. So here your very tasty keema mutter samosa are ready to eat. You can have them with sauce or any chutney that you wish.